okay in this video i am going to talk about sql server 2008 and the time tables that you can create in the sql server okay firstly you create a time tables only in the temp db database that is one of the system database okay you, as you can see on the screen you can create a uh, three types of temp table local temp table global temp table and permanent table permanent temp table okay now let's examine one by one what these are and what they stands for okay okay the first local temp table is created in the temp db starting with the hash character okay and followed by the name of the table okay let's go to global temp table the global temp table also is created in temp db you create a global temp table starting with two hash followed by the table name okay and a permanent temp table okay is created just like a normal table in the temp db the local temp table will exist until your connection that created that table is there once that connection is disconnected or the user logs out that temp table will get deleted from the temp db while the global temp table will last until the connection that created it or until all the connection have stopped using the table whichever comes lost the permanent temp table will be there till the server is restarted or rebooted local temp table it can be accessed only by the user who created it you cannot adjust the permission on the local temp table global temp table can be accessed by all the connection user until the permission has been revoked what do i mean by the permission has been revoked if some some of the if i don't want some of the user to be having access i can ask the system administrator or i can myself if i can actually revoke the permission for that table to the any other user okay now this permanent temp table can be accessed by any user or the connection if the permission has been granted okay means that a table once created permanent permanently in the temp table or in the temp database you have to give the permission for that table otherwise the other user cannot access it okay oh now let's move to the screen and see some of the sql okay here is the local temp table okay the creation it says create a local temp db hash local temp table refers that's the integer and all okay this is how you create a temp table okay and let's say if you want to select from the lower temp table you use this sql okay and so on so and so forth you need not you specify the temp db okay create by creating the uh, temp table okay it automatically would be created in the temp database only okay and this is how you actually find the name of the temp db sys objects by select name from the temp db sys objects where type equals to u okay u equals stands for user okay and these are the sql actually we will examine it in the sql server itself okay these are for the local temp tables in the temp db okay this is sql let's go and example examine the global temp tables sql these are some of the global temp table sql you can see that the table is created using a double hash okay that's the only difference between a local and a global temp table while creating the temp tables okay a single hash and a double hash and we move to the next slide that will show us how to create a permanent temp table okay you create a permanent temp table just like that like any other normal table okay that's it and now we will go and execute this sql in the sql server itself okay here are the tables okay this is how i we create a temp table i'm going to execute it okay one by one sql statement and you can see the table is being created 
okay the table was table is created let's go and check it with the sql only whether the table has been created or not i'm going to use a select statement okay and is executing the query okay there we are it doesn't have any record so far i can always check it with the in the system dbs subjects where actually it is being stored okay and it should show me the name of the tables of the temp table okay now here it is on the top as you can see local ha temp table and then there is a dash and there would be a big gap and there would be a some random number in the end of the table generated okay that is what sql server does it it does it for the own reasons okay i have no idea why it does it okay you can contact sql server microsoft to find out what is the reason okay now let's go to the if you wanted to find out if there were many temp tables and if you wanted to find out for the your user id then you could execute this query and you will find out for your user id okay let's go to the next one okay it uh, as you know i have already spoken that you cannot adjust the permission on the local temp table okay now i am going to select execute the next sql statement okay and let's go and execute it okay now it's will create a table named authors which will be temporary and it will have the all the records from the pubs database from the author table okay now it has created a uh, this thing the table and let's let's go and see the contents of the uh, temp table okay it has created the temp table you can see that the author exists down okay now let's go and see the contents of the this thing okay here we go here we have from the temp database we have a author temporary table okay and that's how it actually is the temp table getting created as a temp db okay now let's create a global temp table okay here is a global temp table getting created okay let's go and check it let's go and select from the if there are any records at least it will show us the fields there aren't any records because we haven't inserted any record and let's go and check it with the it exists in ss objects and it should show us okay there we are okay and now you can create a lost permanent temp table okay there that will exist till the server is rebooted okay and there we should execute it there is no hash in the front of this table no double hash and it will only go when the server is rebooted okay or restarted whatever you want to say okay and there we can execute it there we are that's it that's how the temp db temp tables are created in the temp database i will stop here